Now we want to demonstrate determining soil texture by the feel method. It's important as we're going through this that you have the guide for estimating soil texture by feel. What this suggests is we start with a sample, about a, a handful or, or several tablespoons full. We work the sample. The first thing, you can rub it between your fingers to see how gritty it feels. In this case, this feels very, very gritty. The next test is to try to form it into a stable ball. This material is moist enough, you can form it into a ball, but it's not staple. You, if you bounce it a foot in the air, it clearly breaks up when it falls into your hand. This is a textbook example of something that would be considered a sand, or for terms of our uh, Envirothon, a coarse textured material. If you try to make a ribbon out of something like this, clearly it will not form a ribbon. It's important to remember in working these down, you can tell a lot about the texture of the sample depending upon how easy it is to get it worked into the right moisture content and to get the individual aggregates in the soil broken down. When we're doing this, we need to remove all the material, all the form material from the sample, and all material greater than two millimeters. Texture and assessment of the mineral size fraction of the soil consisting of sand, silt, and clay sized grains. This next sample should be a moderately coarse sample. It'll form a relatively stable ball. You can bounce it in your hand, and then when you attempt to make a ribbon, what you're doing when you're making this ribbon is trying to extrude the sample between your thumb and your finger upwards and let it curl out uh, over your finger. In this case, we're running about a half inch of a ribbon. And if you look at the flow chart and you come down, basically a half inch to a, an inch ribbon would put you in the uh, sandy loam category or for Envirothon, the moderately coarse zone. The other sample that I have at hand here is certainly something that uh, you know contains more clay because it has much more strength to it, much harder to deform, and if you wet it down more, it's uh, very sticky. Typically, the more clay that's in the sample, the more difficult it will be to get the soil at the right moisture content to make these tests. You can form it into a nice stable ball. There's no question about that. So that automatically puts us down on this chart into the medium, moderately fine, and fine category. Assuming that our moisture content is about right, one of the keys to doing texture by feel and this ribbon test is to ensure that you have uh, just the right amount of moisture on the sample and again, we're extruding the sample between our finger and our thumb. And in this case, my ribbon is breaking off in about two inch, two and a half inch segments. So if you look at your chart, that puts us down here in this category of moderately fine. And due to the grittiness that I feel here, or lack of grittiness, I guess I'd put this in the uh, silty clay loam category. But again, you see my ribbon is extruding and breaking at about two and a half inches. This would be a good example of a moderately fine. A fine textured sample, on the other hand, something that exceeds 40% uh, in clay, uh, typically you'd moisten it like this and the ribbon would form and come down around your hand and exceed three inches. Some soils in the state are clay and sticky enough that they'll come down around your hand and the ribbon can be four or five inches long. 